Isn't it just the worst when your tree doesn't want to talk to you? Hello everybody, I'm Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-4521. Please raise your voice, my hearing isn't what it used to be. Let's begin. Item number SCP-4521. Object class? Safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-4521 is to be kept in Site-551's Bioterrarium and only accessible by personnel with Level 2 clearance or higher. Additionally, attempts are to be made daily in an attempt to provoke vocalizations from SCP-4521. Description SCP-4521 is a Douglas fir tree with abnormal shape and leaves. SCP-4521 was discovered within God Silence, Oregon after reports of a quote, ear-piercing silence from within the tree's vicinity. Amnestics were administered and SCP-4521 was transported by implanted Foundation agents to Site-551. Currently, SCP-4521's anomalous property is that it is incapable of screaming. No apparatuses are found on SCP-4521 that allow it to scream and attempts to create one have been met with failure. See testing log. Attempts are being made to provoke screaming within SCP-4521. No mimetic or cognitohazardous phenomena originate from or affect SCP-4521. Multiple attempts using several other anomalies have been made to detect any screaming, but no screaming was detected. Test log. The following are attempts made by on-site personnel to eliminate SCP-4521's anomalous ability. Test 1. Carve a mouth on SCP-4521. Outcome. Several holes were placed upon SCP-4521 using a chainsaw. No screaming appears to emanate from these holes. Test 2. Use an extremely hot branding iron to imprint the word slave onto the base of the tree. Outcome. No screaming detected. Brand disappeared within two days' time. Test 3. Place multiple species of spiders upon SCP-4521's base. Outcome. No screaming detected. Approximately 30% continued to stay on the tree. 50% of the spiders that stayed burrowed further into the tree. No screaming was detected during this time. Test 4. Take a tree that is genetically similar or related to SCP-4521 and slowly destroy it in a close radius around it. Outcome. Tree successfully destroyed over the course of 28 hours. No screaming detected. Test 5. Take a tree that is genetically similar or related to SCP-4521 and redacted. Outcome. Redacted by request of ethics committee. No screaming detected. Test 6. Use a D-Class personnel under the effect of Nestics in the event that SCP-4521 screaming is anti-memetic. Outcome? No screaming detected. Test 7. Attempt to communicate with SCP-4521. Outcome? See attached audio file. Audio file 4521 interview. Begin log. Uh, hello SCP-4521. Can you hear me? Did you say something? No, oh, that was my imagination. I'm sorry. Listen, do you want to talk? Do you have something on your mind? Just let it out. Come on, it's not healthy to bottle up. You can tell me. I'm friendly. Do you not have a reason to, you know? I do hope those thoughts in your head are doing you well, but they need to be let out. This is for your own good, I promise. Don't worry about making too much noise. I don't mind. Can you hear me? Can you even hear me while you're trapped in your mind? Can you see me through the foggy, muddy waters that are your eyes? Come on, the deafening silence is killing me! If you don't want to speak, or at least scream, the test will continue. It's only healthy. Please! You're scaring me! You know, when I was a kid, I... I assaulted a kid. I took a bike lock and crushed his skull in. It went on for six minutes before being stopped by one of his friends, who I also clocked in the head. I went down the street and I saw this lady. She fell off her bike. It was the same bike I stole this bike lock from. I took that bike, cut it up into several small, tingly pieces and fed her the bike, over the course of several hours. She just laid there with her broken leg and her stomach eventually ruptured. The black ooze that dripped from her stomach indicated that someone might have called the cops. So I went home and locked my room. 
Do you want to know what I did? I screamed. I opened my mouth and let out the largest roar that was trapped at the bottom of my lungs. All those wasted opportunities, all those memories fading away as the calming ring of my torn voice box filled the room. And look where I ended up. I got a doctorate and I'm working for one of the best organizations on Earth. It's not too late. Or you haven't felt that thrill yet, haven't you? Typical. Outcasts like you, born in some random remote part of Siberia. No other individual in sight. You're too weak to impress anyone, so you just stay by yourself. I see your game. But I can help you. I need you to scream. 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 Dr. Hans proceeds to say the exact same phrase for 37 hours before being escorted out by on-site guards in order to prevent death by dehydration. After waking from a short four-hour nap, Dr. Hans promised that he, quote, will not stop until this tree finally screams. Testing is to continue. End log. Thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed this narration, then please consider liking the video and maybe subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Also, if there are any other SCPs that you would like to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.